In today's video, we're pitting two of Konami's best Starlight Rare sets against each other, Eternity Code and Chaos Impact. What's up guys, we're back with another epic Starlight Rare opening. We have a first edition Eternity Code and first edition Chaos Impact. At this point, Chaos Impact is a four year old box. Can you guys believe that? It's insane. Eternity Code itself is about two years old. So pretty awesome sets. But before we get into the opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three 25th anniversary super rares, including a Flame Swordsman. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know if you think Eternity Code or Chaos Impact is better and which one will pull off the win. Have you ever wanted some first edition Metal Raiders cards in your collection? Well, I have good news. Thursday, June 15th, I will be breaking a first edition Metal Raiders box live on Whatnot. Each pack will be sold live, so you'll have a chance to buy a pack, get all the cards pulled inside, maybe even the Gate Guardian. Simply click my link down below. You get $15 for free on your first purchase, so you could get $15 off your pack. Go into the app, search my name, Ruxon34, find my live show for this June 15th, and bookmark it. This auction will consist not only of the first edition Metal Raiders box, but we'll also have some amazing things on the buy it now tab as well as some insane giveaways so if you guys want to participate in this awesome metal raiders box break make sure to check out my live stream on the 15th 5 p.m central i hope to see you guys there all right guys so we are opening these two boxes because these both contain insane starlight rares chaos impact has the ip masquerade which we pulled two in one case one time it was insane i would love to pull another one i wouldn't complain at all it is tied with the opelosa for basically the most expensive starlight ever then we have eternity code which has multiple big starlights, such as the Effect Veiler. I think it's the Win the Wind Charmers in here. Can't remember the exact one, but almost every starlight in this one is really good. So this one is probably a better set, but this has the best card of all the starlights here. So it's going to be an interesting battle here, and let's see if we can pull some IP Mascarinas. All right, we are going to do this as a versus battle, so there will be, you know, scores on the screen, you know. We'll see uh, what, what the total values are. These boxes are somewhat expensive. All of the values pop up on the screen right now, so you guys can see what the prices are. Eternity code probably is a little, actually, I don't know which one's more at this point. So yeah, well, you guys will see them. So we got the Eternity code open. Now Chaos Impact. I've not opened a box of Chaos Impact since we did that case opening. So hopefully our insane luck with Chaos Impact continues and we continue to pull Starlights. Well, three in that one case. My best case ever open. All right, guys, let's just get into it. We have 48 packs today. So hope you guys enjoy this somewhat of a longer video. I know you guys want to sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. Should be pretty fun. I think there's no rares in this set, right? This is where it started. Parallel XE, that's a good card. Codebreaker, we have Rainbow Zoo. Turn Trooper, we got Buzzsaw, we got Goki. We have Resonator Command, and we have a Link Cross right off the bat. This card was crazy. It got banned, so maybe if it gets unbanned, it'll be, you know, back to a nice value, but it was like a $20 card for that band, as I'm not sure, which is really good in like modern day packs. So I'm gonna do three from the back here because I think there were still rares in this set because this is the second set ever with Starlight. So pretty old at this point. It's only 2019. So, you know, four years ago almost when I think when this came out. Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eye. We pulled this in a Starlight out of the case, which was insane. We have Blessed Winds. All right, starting it off with a Link Ross. I think it's Herney Code. Even with the banned Link Ross, that's probably still a dollar just because people are waiting, you know, potentially to come off the ban list or whatever. Because, uh, you know, everything seems like it would never come off the ban list and then eventually it does. Magical Hound, that's a retrain of, uh, what's he called? The Mechanical Hound, I think. Code Breaker, we have Lantern Shark. Bossaw Shark, the uh, Golden Hair. Goki, Megalith. And Ancient Warriors, Ambitious, Cow Day. These cards, like, I don't know, they, they're, you know, they are new cards. I'm gonna say they feel like new cards. They are new cards. They just have some real nice structural integrity, integrity to them. So they don't have great uh, quality control a lot of times, but this was before they kind of changed. I feel like, oh, there's a super rare. I think they changed, like, who was making the cards because just a couple years ago, 2021, these cards, like, had some really nice feel to them. Like, they didn't feel like the old cards, but they felt solid. Like, they didn't feel like they were going to, you know, bend or anything like that. Sometimes I feel like that with the new cards. We have Super Heavy Samurai, Goki Guts, newer cards, because these are new still. <laughs> Dragon Lord, Code Breaker, Proxy, Deep Sea, we got Golden there. And we got a Plunder Patrol party. I remember this set now, all the party stuff. And by party, I mean Plunder Patrol, because I think that's the only party card, but Plunder Patrol, everything was talking like a pirate. All right, one, two, three. I'm gonna do three on this one, I can't remember. Uh, Bayonetta, we got World Key, Salaman Grey, we got Watt Train. I would love to pull a Starlight out of either of these, obviously. Wailing of the Unchained Soul, so it is four from the back on this. That's an ultra rare. Nice. And as you guys know, we're trying to pull every Starlight Rare ever made, and there's a lot of Starlights that both these sets I've not pulled. So I pulled, I think, two of the Chaos in back. They were both in that one case. Two different ones, at least. And then Eternity Code, I think we pulled Effect Veiler and... Do we pull an Effect? Wait. 
No, I bought my effect bill. Where did I, which ones did we pull? We have the arrival cybers, very nice. I'm trying to think back to Eternity Code and I feel like we didn't do a live stream for that set. I don't think we actually did one now that I'm thinking about it. I think that we skipped Eternity Code for live streams. Like I did openings obviously, but this was kind of back when it wasn't like a, you know, a for sure thing that I was gonna do a live stream because now we do every single set you know, unless it's like speed duel products. Like I basically do a live stream for everything. But back then it was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna skip this one because you know, buying cases is expensive. And you know, as we've gone along, we've had, you know, better and better uh, opportunity to actually do that. But you know, back in 2020, 2021, I had to kind of pick and choose my spots. And Eternity Code didn't have anything like a throwback back then. And you guys, I was kind of just only doing the throwback stuff like 10K Dragon and all that stuff. And DD Crow, I got excited about. But back then it was like Eternity Code, okay. Yeah, Effect Failure, that's pretty cool, but I don't think I'm gonna like go in all in on this one. So I get, think that's what happened. I'm pretty sure that I, oh, this is a ooh, nice card for the uh, the Petite Moth deck. Yeah, go check out the 10 minute testing. It was insane. We have Mimic, we have Brine, we have Gallant Granite Ultra. That's a pretty good card. I think Gallant Granite is one of the better cards in that set. That's still like worth something because they've basically all been reprinted at this point. All right. Oh yeah, you know what would be cool? An original access code. That'd be nice too, yeah. I'd take that cover card because they didn't make it a Starlight until, you know, two years later, one, two, three, four. Let's see if we could pull one right now. Deep Sea Century, we have King Barbaros, Goki Guts, I can't pull these cards. Goki Guts came out that late? I didn't realize that, Rose Girl, that's a super rare. I thought Goki Guts was like in 2019. Guess it wasn't, interesting. Yeah, I only know that from Prague, one, two, three, four, but they were using it in their Goki decks. We have Action Magic, Gladiator, Magic Key, we have Manstrong, we have Velo, we have Mega, we have Oniros, the Dream Mirror, Urkling, or Urlking, or something. Okay, Overburst Dragon, cool. Turn code. So far, no Starlights, but also no Secrets, so you never know. There could be something waiting at the end. We have Link Burst. Let's see if we can find something. We have Beast King. We have Artisan. We have Samurai Wagon, Proxy F Magician. Oh, and an Ultra Rare. Ravenous Croco Dragon, Argathis. That's actually a good Ultra Rare as well. Pretty solid card right there. We will take that. All right, Chim, AKA Chaos Impact, one, two, three, four. Give us something big. We have Brutal Beast. Oh, I did five, I think. Escape, we have Prom Meter, we have Cauldron, Protocol, Tachyon, Marincess, and a Dream Mirror, Hypnagogia. Okay, next pack, Eternity Code. So far, pretty good pulls for, you know, what we can expect. I mean, in terms of like the actual cards we got, they were pretty good. In terms of like rarities, we're definitely not doing that well. Imperial Exceed, Rainbozu, Goku Iron Claw, Crimson Resonators in this set? I didn't realize a Resonator card. Wow, okay, I've played Crimson Resonator. I didn't realize it was, it was such a new card. It's actually pretty sweet. Chaos Impact, Starlight Rare IP, or just an Ultra Rare IP. I mean, I think it's just an Ultra, not even a secret. I tried to play this guy, the trap version, you know, the old card in, in auction series, you know, a long time ago at this point. And uh, it did not work out, but it would have been sick. I'm, I still stand by that decision. Hello? Oh no. I just realized my mic was off. All right, sorry about that, guys. I just realized that I've not had my mic on the whole time. That's great. Whenever you turn off your computer, or at least the setup I have, it turns off your mic. And if you don't turn off your computer, it doesn't turn off your mic. So I basically never turn my computer off, but when I do, I forget that it turns my mic off. And that's why that happens. Gizmo Yada, that's a super rare, but I'm gonna redo the intro. Hopefully all that will not sound so weird. And then, you know, the opening will be a little bit, a little bit underwatery or whatever it sounds like with the phone. But yeah, I appreciate you guys dealing with me. Sorry about that. I mean, it's it's okay, we haven't pulled a Starlight yet, so all the good audio will be here when we pull this Effect Velo. Let's make it happen. We have Necro, Nemesis Flag, that's a super. I mean, we really have only pulled like three of the foils, so it's not like that big of a deal, you know? All the good stuff's coming up, so I'm feeling okay. At least we haven't pulled something big with the crappy audio. I have Monster, that's a rare. Crown Tail, World Legacy, Astra, Evil Tile, we have Crusher Run, we have Infinite, we have Prime Mineral, and Marincess Crystal Heart, super rare. Okay. I should have checked. I didn't check my audio until nine minutes in. It's pretty, pretty bad, guys. I'm not going to lie. I apologize. I apologize. It happens. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Thunder. Sometimes you start talking a lot. Look, I've been told through email that I talk too much in my videos, okay? And look, there's proof right there. We have an ultra rare shadow of the generator bosses. Very nice. Cool ultra. Man, where are the secrets, man? Secrets and starlights. Where are they at? I mean, starlights are probably not going to happen, but one, two, three, four. Haven't seen either of them yet. We have Swordmaster, Super, I mean, Super Heavy Samurai. They got some support in the recent set. 
Thunder Dragon Lord, Ancient Warriors, Codebreaker, Evil Eye, we have Deep Sea, and the Plunder Patrol, Ship Shape, Ships Shipping. Wow, that is a tongue twister right there. Chaos Impact, I believe in you. You can do this. You can give us something good. One, two, three, four, let's go. Soul Levy, we got Desert Locust, Marincess Crown Tail, Pro Meteor, we got Aroma Mage, Bye Bye Damage. Gladiator Beast comeback. Draco Masters of the Ten Yi. That's an ultra rare. Another ultra rare. Okay. Ultras are everywhere. Secrets, on the other hand, are not everywhere. So where are they? Oh, what is happening right now? Okay. One, two, three, four. We have Ancient Warriors. We have Torpedo Takedown. Cataclysmic. Parallel Exceed. Codebreaker. Evil Eye Reemergence. The Marincess. The Ancient Warriors. And the Nemesis Corridor. Super rare. Very super like. Chaos Impact. Would you like to impact us with a Starlight Rare? I don't know if that works. That doesn't... I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, impact our lives with a Starlight Rare, maybe? Bayonetta. We have Gladiator. We have Cauldron of the Old... Ooh, I don't even remember that card. Old Man. Tachyon, I got Protocol. We didn't open cases for this set either. That's another super rare. Because uh, this was way early. Like, yeah, I definitely was not opening cases at this point. Eternity Code. I mean, I've done a video. I don't know if you guys have seen the 10K Dragon video, but our first live stream ever was opening for the 10K Dragon in 2020, July 2020. So before anything before that, I definitely didn't open a case. There's another super. All right. I'm still waiting for these uh, Starlight Rares. Just saying. One, two, three, four. Let's make it happen. Come on, Starlights. We have Overburst Dragon. Good thing. We have Spiral, we have Apollo, we have Unchained, we have Patrol Plane, we have Cauldron, we have Marincess, and another Dream Mirror card. Eternity Code, here we go. Starlight Rare, Link Burst. We've already got a Link Cross in the, uh, the, the no audio, like, land of recording. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Arch Nemesis Protos is in this set? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, do it. should have never made it. All you, uh, Sword Soul players just summoning that sucker. All right, it's a good card, though. Very good card. One, two, three, four. Probably one of the best cards in the set, especially an ultra rare. I feel like I'm pulling a lot of ultra rares. I'm just saying. The Barren Wasteland of Audio is what I was trying to say earlier. Expression, we have Peaceful Burial. For some reason, I just remembered it. I don't know why. Only reason I realized my audio was off is because I almost hit my mouse. And then I was like, oh no, did I uh, stop something? And I was, oh wait, my mic's not on. <laughs> Great, we have uh, Escape of the Unchained, World Reassembly. Bayonetta. And speaking of, guys, we are almost at 200,000 subscribers. We're doing some big stuff for 200K. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. When I'm recording this, that probably means that you've seen it because every time I like, you know, date myself, I end up being like, oh yeah, whoops, we talked about that last week because I like, for some reason, I had to push the video back. It always gets really awkward, but uh, 200K is going to be big. We got some big stuff potentially in the works. Proxy we have at Ignister, okay. And I am excited to see what you guys think because we're going to be doing some stuff we've never done before. You know, opening some insane packs. It's going to be some crazy openings. It's going to be good. We got a Papillon. We got Crown Tail. Marincess Snow. Boom. We got Sea Angel. We got the Mega Corilla. We have Crash Run. Gladiator's Rejection. That's an ultra rare. How many ultras is that? We have so many ultra rares. I'm so confused right now. I feel like we should have pulled a secret by now, right? In theory, we just keep pulling ultra rares. One, two, three, four. We got the ultra rare error box. Just only get ultras. We got pride, torpedo. We got super heavy samurai proxy. We got stairs. We got gold are in there. We got void apocalypse. Okay, nothing crazy there. Chaos impact. Come on, secret. One, two, three, four. Let's give us a nice card. We get a lot of ultras, but yet no IP mascarina ultra rare. Watch train. Gladiator, Action Magic, wouldn't be mad about one of those. We have a Gizmek Yada. All right, that's a super rare. More foil pulls, but you know, they're guaranteed foils in both of these. 2019 and 2021, yeah, all guaranteed foils at those points. We have Noctivision Dragon. I think that's a good card. It got an OTS reprint, I believe. Parallel Exceed, obviously crazy. Also an OTS reprint. Stairs of the Mail. We got Buzzsaw, Necroquip, and an Ancient Warriors. Okay. All right, we've got to be getting close. Got to be getting close to a secret rare, right? There's two in each box usually. We haven't pulled any. We have a Beast, Luna, Astra Ghouls. We have Soul Levy. We the Armor Dragon. We got Abominable. We got Lauren. We got Mimicurl and a secret rare, Unchained Soul of Anguish. There we go. We finally get a secret after all those packs. Hey, not a bad, hey, look, Distant Coder would like that one. All right, and you know what I would like? An Access Code Talker secret rare. How about that? One, two, three, four, let's go. We have a Lantern Shark. We have Bluebeard. Flourishing Flawlic. Fralala Flawlic. We have Frolic, man. Splash Mage, we got Goki. Splash Mage is a good card too, it's just a common. We got Malice Lady of Lament, all right. Getting down to the end, are we, uh, what, maybe like four packs left of each, something like that? One, two, three, four. We have a Marincess Battle Ocean, the World Legacy. Dino Wrestler, we got Luna. Dream Mirror, 
Chob ham. We got abominable chamber. We have prime mineral concrete. Okay, back to eternity code. Etco, I believe in you. You will bless us. No secrets. We only have six packs left. One, two, three, four. Got to be something here, right? We got torpedo takedown. Maybe it'll be a starlight rare. Exceed. Link burst. We got deep sea. We got golden hair. We got pinpoints. Goldilocks. Oh! And a starlight rare ghost mortar and moonlit chill. Yes, it does have to be something. Let's go. A starlight has been pulled. And thank goodness I realized my mic was off earlier. So we get the nice screaming audio. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is insane. I've never pulled this. Check it off on the list, baby. Editor, do your thing. We just we just pulled this one for the first time. Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Chill. Looks pretty centered as well. Wow, that is insane. I think we know which one won this battle. Unless IP Masquerina. Here we go. That is insane. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my goodness. By the way, that was out of two boxes I got from somebody. <laughs> so I, I've been getting lucky recently. We have we have had some insane luck recently. I pulled like three starlights from like random things. Like not like a case. It's it's nuts. All right, Fanta, Fantasos? Fantasos? I don't know. Oh, also we haven't pulled any secrets yet. So access code? Make it happen. One, two, three, four. Wow. One in 24 boxes right there on a Starlight Rare. Specific one, one in, you know, 10 cases. Insane. We have Goki Iron Claw, Crimson Resonator. Okay, wow. That is sick, because it's an old set too. So it's not, I mean, like two years old. So it's not like brand new set. That's going to be a tough one to, like, to add to the Starlights that I've pulled. You know, I'm trying to pull every Starlight. You know, pulling anything that's not brand new is really, you know, difficult because you can't just buy cases and cases of it anymore. Tachyon, we have Galaxy Satellite Dragon. That could and probably does replace a secret rare, which I was thinking, we haven't pulled a secret. Maybe that means we have a Starlight. I don't know. So we might only get one secret because of that. We'll find out. We have a uh, Revive Splash, Magical Hound, Pride of the Plunder Patrol, Lantern Shark, P Wrath, P Wrath. I don't know if you say it like that. We have a Super Heavy and a Har Generator Boss of Storms. So only a couple packs left and we have not pulled a secret out of there. We've got one secret out of Chaos Impact, which, you know, maybe we could get a Starlight to go along with it. Let's just get double Starlights. Can you imagine? Action Magic, Luna, Astro Ghouls, Brutal. We got Abominable Kate, Charmer. We got Man Strong. We got Gorgon. That will, it could be a Starlight, but that's the super version. Three packs left. Come on. Access code and Ghost Mourner pulls. Let's make it happen. That'd be nice. One, two, three, four. We have Noctivision Dragon, Flourishing Frolic. We got Tattoo, Toyotai. <laughs> I was going to say Tatooie. That was definitely not what that said. We have a Remergence and a Plunder Patrol ship list. We have a Secret Rare. Very nice. By the way, I did not mix these up at all. So these are just coming out like this. All right, Chaos and Back. We have two of each pack left. So because Chaos and Back is behind, we're going to open that pack last. So we'll do the last two at Co right after this. Jelly Cannon. Why do I think that's a good card? I don't know. We have Bonds. We have Permineral, Solomon Great, Suppression, Crusher. Ooh, a secret rare Mar 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 Marincess Blue Tang. There we go. Marincess Blue Tang. I think it's actually a decent one. All right, time to open these last two Ed Codes because, you know, Last Pack Magic IP Masquerina would be the coolest way for this to end. One, two, three, four. Not that it hasn't already been awesome enough. Let's see if we can pull another Starlight. We have Nemesis, Deep Sea, AIQ, Deep Sea. We got Pinpoint, and we got an Armored Baton. Bitron, I should say. Not Baton Pass. I'm thinking of Pokemon. Too much Pokebox. Go check out that channel, by the way. Almost monetized. I know I've mentioned a few times in the recent videos, but we are almost monetized on Pokerux, and uh, we've been putting up a lot of content, doing a lot of Twitch streams for it, so if you guys are interested in that, and that's a lot of kind of stuff, go check it out. Resonator Command and a... Okay, so it did replace a Secret Rare. I'm not complaining. That was worth it. And our final pack, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Before this epic Starlight Rare pull that is going to end this video. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Chaos Impact. Will it be IP Masquerade? And we have Aroma Gardening. We have World Reassembly. Could be insane. Patrol Plane. We have Cauldron of the Old Man. We have Marin Sass Cascade. And an Evil Eye of Gorgneo. Okay, so nothing in there. But this was still an insane video. I'm happy with it. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.